Hi guys, so after months of trying to figure this out, I finally managed to find a way to validate all plugins in Logic, in Big Sur and in Monterey. I just want to show you how they were not validating before. As you see, you can try to rescan many times and they wouldn't pass. Let me show you how to fix that. Okay, before we start, I cannot insist enough, please do not miss a single step because if you do, there's a chance that your Mac won't restart properly. In case it does happen, all you will have to do is boot in recovery and reinstall the OS and that will fix it. Okay, let's get going. First step is that we need to make sure that your hard drive is named the same as mine. You can always change it back to what it was after we're done with everything. We're gonna call it Macintosh HD, capital letter M, H, and D. Second step is to make sure that your file vault is not on. So go to System Preferences, Security and Privacy. In there, you're gonna see File Vault. Just make sure that it's not on. Now we're gonna boot in recovery mode. So shut down the Mac. When it's shut down, hold Command R then start the Mac. Keep holding the two keys until the progress bar is on, then release the two keys. If you do have an M1 machine, all you have to do is hold the power button for a few seconds and then hit options. Once you are there, go at the top menu bar and select startup security and make sure to hit the tab that says no security. If you do have an M1 machine, select permissive security. Then you can close that window and go back to the toolbar and open terminal from there. You're gonna type this right away, C-S-R-U-T-I-L space disable and hit enter. Then you're gonna type C-S-R-U-T-I-L space authenticated dash root space disable and hit enter. If you do have an M1 machine, it will ask you to type Y for yes and then hit enter and then it's gonna ask you your username and your password. Just make sure to follow what it will ask you on screen. Okay, now we're gonna restart the Mac. When it has restarted, we're gonna open the terminal, which is located in Applications, Utilities. And you're gonna type exactly what's on the document file that I will include. After each line, make sure to hit Enter. After you type the second line, which is disk util list and press enter, a bunch of identifiers are gonna show up. Make sure to locate the one that says Macintosh HD. In my case, we see that it's a disk one S2. Once you figure out that number, go to line three and make sure to correct the disk identifier number with your particular number. Once you have done that, go ahead and paste that entire line in your terminal and press enter. Now go ahead and paste line four, press enter. Now go in the folder that you will download and make a copy of those two files. Now go to Macintosh HD, users, your username, and in there you're gonna see a file called Macintosh HD. Click on that, and we need to show invisible files, so hit Command shift dot on your keyboard. Now that you're in there, go to the USR folder and then the bin folder and paste the two items. You're gonna hit replace. Now let's copy the last line into the terminal and press enter. Then go ahead and restart the Mac. When the Mac has restarted, you're gonna hit command shift dot to put the invisible files back to normal. Now go back to the logic preferences and open the plugin manager 
and rescan those plugins that have failed before and you will see that they will pass now. I just want to show you that all the plugins are working fine now. In your particular case, if you have a couple of plugins not working, they were probably not working in the previous OS either. But in my case, everything that was working in Catalina is also working in Bixer and Monterey. That's it. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.